In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Zellcor wallet. We're going to install it on a Windows 10 PC and take a look at all the features. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm on my desktop and I'm going to jump over to the Zellcor homepage. Zellcor.io is the official URL. Make sure I link that in the description. And as you can see that you can download this on several different devices here. We have the Android download. We have the iOS download APK. We also have the Windows, Mac and Linux version. In this video, what we'll be doing is downloading and installing the Windows desktop version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Windows full version. Let it download. It's an executable file. And here it is. I'm just going to click on that to open Open it up. I'll minimize my browser. There we go. It's going to start installing it. This is the first time that we're going to be logging into this. I'm not going to be using this with anything else. So I'll be showing you the complete process of installing this wallet. The first thing that we want to do is click on the sync and register. So we're going to click on that link right over here and we're going to create a username. Now the username that you're going to be typing in here is case sensitive. So if you're going to be putting in capital letters like I am right now, so I'm going to put in Joe Smith, capital S, capital J is in here. When you log in the next time when you're actually using the account, you have to make sure that you put in the capital J and capital S because it is case sensitive, both the username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a password here. Alphanumeric is going to be best. So I'll just make one up right now with some special characters. All right. So I created my super secure password. There we go. And I can go ahead and click on register. And uh, we have it over here. We're going to be able to confirm this. And it just wants to know that we've backed it up. And again, the, both the username and password is case sensitive. So these capital letters will matter when you try to log in next time. So the next thing you want to do is make sure that you have your credentials backed up. Click on the option over here to confirm that you have. Make sure that you have it saved. I do. I have my username and password saved. I can go ahead and click on register. And now it's going to ask us to log in. So I can go ahead and type in that username username and password. So again, capital J and capital S, and then I'm going to put in my super secure password and then click on login. And there we go. So I've logged in right now and it gives me the welcome information here. It's giving you some best practices over here, uh, like making sure that you have your private keys backed up and also that you have 2FA enabled. We get a little Windows prompt over here for Windows Defender. We can allow access to that and uh, we can go ahead and close the welcome screen. And here we are at the dashboard. Just close over this welcome option over here. And at the main dashboard, you get a portfolio overview. If you had a balance, it'd automatically show it to you here. And the total amount of your currency would be populated over here in which you can go ahead and click on the edit and then you can modify what you want in here. So you can have portfolio changes and you can turn off some things if you want and then you close out of that and it updates the widget over there. So we're going to take a look at a few things over here. At the very top, you can see that you have the portfolio overview. Now it's split up into payments, income, mining, investments, and retirement. And then you can see that there's more wallets available and you can also import it. What this actually is, is separate wallets. Maybe the naming could be better, but these are all separate wallets. And what you can do is just rename them so you're not confused. These are just the default names that they have up here. I definitely recommend changing them. Uh, you might want to go into Seymour wallets and click on the edit wallet feature and then you can change this and just give it a name wallet one two three you can call it whatever you want but just make it something that means something to you you can change the icon color as well and you can see the selection that you have here okay and click on save and you can see now it's called wallet one naming it something more meaningful to you that lets you know that these are actually separate wallets and not like different accounts or whatever they're trying to do here might be a better idea so i'm gonna go ahead and just do that for them all i've gone ahead and i've renamed all these wallets uh, you may not need six. You might only need one or two. One as a burner wallet or exchanging things or maybe just holding NFTs and then one maybe for a flux node and possibly a third one just for assets that you plan on holding or maybe short term assets. You may not need all six. Unfortunately, you can't remove these wallets. They're just up here. It'd be nice if they had a feature that allowed you to remove some of the wallets at the top and maybe I'm just not seeing it right now. If there is an option there, just let me know in the comments below. But that is the wallet feature up here at the top. Next, what we're going to do is go over over to the left hand side where there's a menu and you can see all the options over here. And as you can see that we were just in portfolio. If I go to Zellcore, you have the option to get the Zellcore Plus feature over here, which is $4 a month. And it gives you a bunch of features uh, that you can have added to it. And then go into exchanges 
and inside the exchange section you have a bunch of exchanges listed not all of them are highlighted like ftx is not there thank god that was a nightmare so that one's not available but you can connect to your kucoin by selecting it so this isn't available everywhere so you can see that they have the countries listed in here uh, if you click on continue you can go ahead and put in your api from kucoin in here with your secret key and password and connect to it and this wallet will directly connect to your kucoin account and allow you to execute trades or transfer funds they also have a bunch of other exchanges in here i'm assuming the other ones listed here are either restricted in my area or not available yet next if we go over on to the left hand side is apps inside the apps we have many different apps over here including the zelle id which allows you to connect to websites using the application we have coin requests zellcore plus and then my one that i'm going to be using in another video which is for flux nodes if you click on that in here you can see all the flux nodes that are already up and running they have a live map i don't have a flux node yet but that will be coming out soon and next over here on the left hand side we have purchases and you can go ahead and select your country i'm in canada but if you have united states you can go ahead and do that and then you have the amount that you're going to be using with fiat put your address in here we're going to select the option over here for the agreement and then it's going to ask me for some more information and it'll want to connect to my credit card company that allow to process that transaction uh, you can go ahead and do that when you're completed you can go over to the order section and it'll let you know if you have any pending orders and completed orders the next section is going to be the nft section which is right over here your nfts that are sent to your wallets be displayed over here if you want to receive an nft you can click on this and then you can select the wallet that you want so i would definitely recommend having a wallet just for nfts and then you can have that in there you can even label it as an nft wallet just in case some shady stuff goes down and you lose uh, some assets uh, connected to it you only burn off one wallet and then you can select the chain right now they only have ethereum but i believe there should be other chains being added to this and when you click on continue it'll give you an address that allow you to receive your nft then if we go over here on the left hand side to settings you can manage the settings of your wallet automatic timeout which would be 15 minutes it automatically will log you out then we have appearance you can change the way things look as well as the currency that you're using the default one is usd but if you're in a different country like great britain canada or in europe you can automatically change your default currency i'm going to be leaving mine as usd uh, languages can also be switched right here and then the value in your portfolio can be automatically converted to a total dollar amount or you can switch it into btc or you can have it just hidden from plain sight and what you can also do is if there's a lot of information going on here you can switch over your wallet to simple mode and it reduces the clutter in your wallet and just to simplified information you also have an option over here to create an avatar and upload an avatar image and then you can go from a theme from dark to light mode as well as a background you can click to enable wallpaper background We'll go back over here into the home screen and up here at the top you can use wallet connect if you want to connect to uh, a site you can put in the uri over there uh, we have an icon up here to let you know that the wallet is live and connected to the network and then we have the notification option up here at the top if you click on it it'll let you know if there's any active notifications over here and then a help section where it links to their faq their support and their discord i definitely recommend jumping on their discord you'll get a quicker response over there and then the last thing is over here at the bottom we have the quit option just to shut it down you can click on it and then click on log out and it'll completely log you out of the wallet log you out of the network and you're completely disconnected so that's how you do it that's how you install the zellcore wallet we did it on a windows pc if you're looking to get this done on an iphone or an android device let me know in the comments below if you found this useful please smash that like button thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one